Hello gamers, welcome back to Idio Sins. Let's play of Assassin's Creed Origins, Part de Cien Sesentaidos, Part 162. We got the after parts, finally. My god. I am so slow, I'm like, worse at video games than Darkseid Phil. I'm not saying a lot. Or, I'm worse at this game than Darkseid Phil might be at this game had he played it. I don't think he did. I don't follow him. I don't know. All I remember is watching him swing without using lock-on in Dark Souls, and I was dead. Ha! Ah, what? You fucking dead now, boy? Alright, we finished the Necropolis hideout. Netted 900 XP. Got a new... What is uh, Predator Bow, which is shit, because basically blue weapons have only like one trait. Purple weapons have two traits, and legendary weapons have three traits, or maybe four sometimes. So if you see a blue or a purple late game when you start to just get outfitted with all legendaries, you just want to sell it or scrap it for materials. It's not worth keeping. Nothing uncommon or epic is good, late game. It's all legendary from that point. Not sure tiered loot was the best idea, to be honest. They could, they could have just... I don't know, I, I think the previous games had tiered loot, I don't remember, but... <coughs> oh god, excuse me. Ugh. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, I don't know if the previous games had tiered loot or not. But, <clears throat> if they had just made unique weapons that could be obtainable from certain merchants or at certain treasure locations that were actually unique and not just, like, the word salad, um, I think it would have been more rewarding of a loot system than this one, which is just... It's not randomized, but it's, um, I don't know, like you just, there, there aren't that many unique weapons in this game. The ones that I find to be the most compelling are like the shark fin and smoke and mirrors, and really nothing else stands out. I mean, there's the hammer of, uh, Apep, I believe it's called, which is a poison mace. And then there is the hammer that causes sleep. I think it's called the headache remedy. Those are kind of neat, I guess. The best weapon in the game probably is... It's kind of a tie between smoke and mirrors, the predator bow with uh, flaming arrows. And the... Kopesh that you can get from buying the deluxe pack that causes bleed and poison. That's pretty damn good. Alright, we can put that place behind us now. Whoa, what a relief. Aw, oh, damn, he found our hideout. No one ever goes hunting for Ibex, though.
We're just the lame passive animals. I'm really glad that this series will be ending within 20 videos because I, 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 I'm officially burnt out. Like I was going pretty strong up until around when I came to my mom's for Christmas, and now it's like I don't know. Maybe I've, I feel out of sorts because I'm in a different location doing these, but. Yeah, I'm just, I'm done, I'm done, I'm fucking done. I'm 99% completed in this game, and the only thing that's holding me back from that last 1% is 4 ability points, which, if I don't spend real-world money on, would take me hours to earn. Like, hours. And I'd have to do so in the most tedious way possible, like fighting arena bosses over and over again, or raiding caravans at night to get drachma so I can buy tablets of knowledge. A thousand experience for a thousand drachma. And a thousand experience is like a twentieth. It's like five percent of what you need for an ability point when you're level 40. So this game has just like disappointed me like throughout. Just wholly disappointed me. And who killed him? It was probably bandits. It's like the longest review, it's like a six or seven hour review or whatever of this game, and, and let, let me tell you, if you've been watching, you would know this game is not worth picking up. Ah. The old parkour, parkour whiff. Damn it. I should have lined up the first shot and then guided when he flew towards me. Oh god, now I have to chase him. I don't know what I thought I was... But damn, that was kind of close though, wasn't it? Jeez. Maybe if I, like, it'll drop on him, yeah. There we Oh, you gotta be joking! Because when the arrow drops, if it still hits the enemy while it's dropping, it'll still do its full damage. The advantage to not guiding is it never drops. It would just go straight on forever, I think. Should have guided that one. Or not guided that one. Damn it. Kobe, 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 Oh, look, I got him once. And it's once, twice, three strikes, not quite to the old tedious Ubisoft game. Come on, let's get strike three. Let's do it. Fuck. Well, end my life, fam. If I can put him to sleep, I can take him out. Oh, fucking kidding. Oh, I'm so dumb for running at him. Oh. I don't even know if you can sleep the king predators. It seemed like that one, the last one before he started flying hit. 
And I can't harass him either. That's bonkers. I hate this fucking game, dude. I hate this game. Hit him with the poison dart. This is what happens when you don't take out the vulture while he's still roosting. This becomes your life. This is your life now. God, I'm low energy today. Yeah. <laughs> Not even close. Man, this guy is going far afield. They just said, why are you still playing this game? Jesus, man. There are better games out there. They're letting me know, because they're eternal prisoners of this game. They'll never escape it. Death is the only way, but then they just get recoded to come back anyways. They'll get loaded into countless games for people that still believe Ubisoft is a good gaming company. Wanna 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 quit my life. Quit my life. I've been more depressed than usual lately. I should put my email in description so you guys can email me if you have depression problems because I have major depressive disorder and I, I could probably help with that kind of stuff. I like helping people with that stuff. Obviously I have a strong knack for enduring torture so if you can trust anyone you can trust me. No, I don't think that vulture is attractive. Take that back, Bayek. Why oh, you wolf whistle the vulture? Sicko. What are you into vultures now? Not that there's anything wrong with that, I'm just wondering. The vulture turned into a bandit. What? What does this mean? Whatsoever do you mean? Finally get this fucking bitch. See, that's what you do. You line up the first shot, you guide the second. That's how you'll win. Vulture down, son. Vulture down, boy. That's all we got for today, guys. I will see you tomorrow. I hope you're having a wonderful Christmas week. And I'll put my email in the description below if any of you want to talk about anything at all. I'll see you later. Bye now. Love you.